Blues Boy Jag here with yet another three-string cigar box guitar lesson. It's Roadhouse Blues by the Doors. We're tuned to open G. And this is a three-string cigar box guitar, so this one is a G string, and then a D string, and your first string is a G. G, D, G. Super common, almost universal, probably is by now, universal tuning for cigar box guitar because you can play so many different songs in so many different keys with the open G tuning. So let's get right to it. This one is pretty easy. If you're a beginner, might be a little tricky here and there. If you're an intermediate or above, it's, it's easy. Let's just say that. So we're going to be doing one little riff here. And we're going to be on the ninth fret with your third finger. I'm using my fingers. If you have been subscribing to this channel for a while, you know that I virtually never use a pick on the three string. And the reason is it's such a skinny neck because there's only three strings and it's really hard to play in this tiny little area here. I'm used to playing a six string with a pick, which is about that wide. So you're going to be moving up and down a bigger area. So that's why I don't use a pick. But you can use a pick if you'd like. So what I'm doing here is third finger, ninth fret, bar it all the way across. And I'm doing sort of a snap on the third string. I call that a snap because it's got that snappy sound, I guess. I don't know. It's just kind of a bright tone. Uh, and I've got the reverb just like the Doors had. So it's got a little bit of distortion on it, and it's not mid-rangey, and it's not bassy. It's more upper and as far as the tone because you want it to be real kind of well snappy i don't know that's what i came up with i'm using my thumb on all the strings so the first thing you're going to be doing is playing that note right there, which is 3-9. And I'm sort of giving it a spank sound by doing the uh, the pick pretty hard. It's basically, it's kind of like a uh, bass pop. It gives it that kind of a tone, which sounds exactly like the doors. And then we're going to be hammering. First finger is going to be on... 2 7 and you're going to hammer to 2 8 and then 2 9. So you're only picking that second string once. Right here hammering consecutive notes from the seventh fret to the eighth fret to the ninth fret the next part is almost identical except you're going to be doing the same thing on the top two strings and then so I'm doing a double hammer on all three fingers on all three frets. That means I'm hammering two strings at the same time. So that's the second half. First half is... And the second half is almost identical. So when you do that second part, you really have to snap those strings hard because you're going to be hammering twice and the hammer tends to fade away volume-wise after the first hammer. So notice how I'm not doing a kind of a strum or a, you know, like a laid-back kind of a strum, I guess you'd say, or picking. That's 
not bad, but it needs to be more ballsy. It needs to have more snap to it. <laughs> So here's the hard part about this song is if you've never hammered two strings at once, it's a little tricky, but it's not that difficult really. It's just getting used to it more than anything. So my first finger is on the seventh fret and I'm on the second and first string. Then I'm gonna hammer my second finger right after that. Now I've been hammering multiple strings with multiple fingers for 40 years. So I've got lots of strength doing that. The hard part, and I'm not flipping you off here, but the hard part is when the string is right where your finger bends. That makes it difficult because it doesn't press the string down quite as hard. So when I press the string down with the tip of my finger, for instance, I'm pressing it down harder than I am if I'm right there at the joint. So depending on where your fingers land, <laughs> it may or may not be super easy right off the bat, but even then, it doesn't take much. You just have to kind of get your fingers toughened up and your muscles toughened up a little bit to do that hammer. <laughs> nice wimpy strum like that you want to just snap both of them and in fact you can actually do the hammer on all three if you want to do that that'll give you a little bit more bass so here it is without hammering that third string at the end so we're going to do that one and then i'll show you how it sounds if i hammer all three so that's the single string hammer. Notice how I'm playing just the, the bottom string, and then the second, and the first. Now I'm going to do all three all at the same time through the whole riff. pretty much playing all three strings all the way through there to give it more volume. Now the cool thing is you can have varying degrees of volume here by changing it from all three strings to just one string. top two, you may notice, like I mentioned before, that that joint is going to be right on top of the string, which means you don't have the tip of your finger pressing down the string like you normally do if you play something like this. You're going to be pushing down on that string right where your joint is, which means you won't be getting optimum push, I guess you'd say. But keep on doing that. I started out doing that many, many, many years ago on the electric guitar, doing some various riffs and like hammering when I'm soloing. And uh, those notes were lower volume for a while, but after a few months, no, really, seriously, it takes months sometimes. Sometimes it takes hours. Sometimes it takes months and months, but keep on doing it. So if you want to do the three finger, three string hammer, that's got to be the single. The top two are singles. Now here's the two string. You're going to have to press real hard. And you probably will need to toughen up your, uh, your calluses here where your finger bends because you will get calluses there if you don't already, if you're a newbie. And anyway, just keep on playing all sorts of different things and that's going to help. You have a little bit more... Uh, push power, I guess you'd say, right where your finger bends. And you'll get more volume that way. Uh, depending on how many gigs I play, I get calluses right there on this finger and right here on the first joint, on the second finger and the first finger and the third finger. 
Third finger would get lots of hammers on a six string guitar. <laughs> Notice that last one, I'm doing one big heavy duty thumb strum. If you're using a pick, same deal, you're just gonna strum it once. But you gotta really snap it. So you don't wanna be wimpy with it. That's kind of wimpy, doesn't sound too bad. As long as your amp has some uh, volume and some distortion, then you can kind of be wimpy with your fingers and it still sounds pretty good. Now there's another way to do that. Ba -da -da. You can do an up strum with your first finger. Please subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions. Check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitars just like this one since 2004. Please subscribe. Wait, I said that. Please subscribe. Wait, I said that. Please subscribe. Wait, I said that. We'll see you next time.